All right, we are on a roll with the videos today. Hi guys, it's Erica with Not Your Average GC, and I figured while I was here at the camper doing renovations, I would do a pocket dump and show you guys kind of what I'm doing, what tools I'm using the most today. So, got my vest on. I talked about that in an earlier video. Got my tactile turn pen. Lots of notes to take. Uh, supplies to get, things that I need to work on that I have to remember, all kinds of stuff. So I have a pen to take notes and my notebook is in my back left pocket of my pants. Field notes. Um, carpenter's pencil here for obvious reasons. And today I have my BGM knives pry bar. I noticed that my nice guy pry bar is just a little skinny for the stuff that I'm doing lately. So this has the same length, but it has a wider surface area on the tip for scraping and prying. And it's just overall thicker and gives me more to grasp onto with this stuff. So I switched out my nice guy pry bar for this one. This has just been a lifesaver lately. I have my Benchmade buck out buck out, <laughs> bug out in this pocket here, just hanging out. Been using this a lot today. They're definitely going to need to be sharpened when I get home or at least dropped. Uh, so that's riding in there and this is a button pocket, but I'm just sliding it in there. Um, what do I have? Let me lower you guys a little bit. All right. So in the pockets here. I have nothing in this one right now. My utility knife was riding in there though. I'm cutting up carpet so I'm using this for the most part. I'm blowing through blades like crazy. It just would not make sense to use a pocket knife for that stuff so uh, using my craftsman utility knife and that's been riding in here. And then in the right pocket I just have a white shop rag and my Surefire Titan. And I'm keeping this in my vest pocket just because I need to be able to see um, in these little crevices and stuff. So I've been using this quite often today. And then I'm wearing jeans today. I wanted to have something with a little more flexibility compared to my um, waxed canvas pants. Just because, I, like I said, I'm working in some pretty tight areas here. I'm cutting up all of this carpet. And I just wanted to wear something a little more flexible and forgiving. So that I could really maneuver through here. I gotta go, come on, cut out all of that. So, um, I'm trying to figure out where to put you guys. Where you can see the pocket dump. Because I can't go any lower. Maybe I'll just back up. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So I've just got a pair of jeans on today. I've had these jeans for, I'd say three or four years. They're Levi's. Um, I don't wash them, so they don't wear out as fast. I know that's disgusting, but I just, I don't wash my work pants ever. I try to keep them lasting as long as possible and washing them just breaks down the fiber. So as you can see, they're, they're brown. They're supposed to be blue jeans, but they're brown and kind of like, Trying to find the real color on them here. They were blue at one point. I'm trying to find a blue spot. Yeah, right there. They used to be all this color. Now they're kind of brown and white. <laughs> um, but in my left front pocket, cell phone, when, when I'm working, I take this out though. Uh, because as you can see, it is completely shattered from years and years of having this in my pocket when I'm working, which is really stupid and idiotic. So I actually try to take this out, set it on the counter when I am working. And then down in that same pocket, chapstick. We already did the, the left butt pocket, that's my notebook. And right back pocket, always have a bandana. This one is from Issuing Stitches. Handmade in the US. Really nice. This guy's awesome. I have a bunch of his hanks and I just, whenever they get wicked disgusting, I just wash them and swap them out. So that goes in my back right pocket. And then my other test knife 
the Hogue Mini Ritter RSK. That one is riding in here. And then I also have my Nipex down in there. Those are living in a Lynch and Redeemed Creations collaboration sh uh, sheath. $20 on Lynch website. These were eating a hole in my pockets, so I ended up purchasing this sheath for them, and it works incredible. Really worth the 20 bucks. Very nicely made, too. Um, what else do we have? Got my wallet down in there because I don't like to sit on my wallet. It's really bad for your back. So, fail-safe goods. Wallet in there. And then, I think we only have one more thing down in that pocket. Swiss Army knife. This one is the Spartan. And this is the uh, DLT exclusive oxide. Black oxide one, so... All of the all of the tools and stuff are blacked out, which I know it doesn't really look like it in the video, but it's like a black shiny coating. I really like carrying a Swiss Army knife, especially because you can hide a pin right in there in the scales, and I use that to unclog all types of little uh, sprayers and stuff. I really like that. And the only other thing I have is in my watch pocket here. I just carry a bunch of change. I just have like, endless fucking quarters and pennies and shit. Uh, I don't, I've been trying to not use my, like, cards, really, and I try to use cash for a lot of stuff, uh, so I just always have a whole bunch of change in there. But yeah, that's the pocket dump. Um, and then let me just show you guys the tools that I'm using today to tear up this carpet because that is the project for the day. I ran out of uh, caulking, so I gotta go pick more up to finish my other projects. And I decided I would work on the carpets instead right now, because that really needs to come up. Um, yeah, so, been using this little cat's claw. Uh, this little guy to get into the really tight areas. I really like this brand. I've been using this brand for, I can't even remember, my dad even used the this brand, I think. But yeah, a very long time, made in the USA, or not made in the USA, it's a, it's a USA company and some of their stuff is made in the USA, but it depends on what it is. So this one, this one's made in Taiwan, but really good little tool and then some of their other stuff is made in the USA so I think let's see yeah this one is yeah so my main tools for the day for tearing up old rat shit infested carpet yeah there's that oh and I want to um let me see if I can show you guys a couple things real quick. Because, oh, we have a lot to do. So, yeah, I have to pull up all of the carpet that is left over in this room. This is my bed. I have to clean that whole thing out and take all that shit out. Um, we redid the cabinets. The inside of the cabinets, because those were all eaten by rats. There's no insulation anywhere. The walls are rotten. So let me see if I can show you guys. The lighting, oh, the lighting is really bad, but you might be able to hear it. So here's something that is really a bummer, and you guys might be able to see it now. Um, see how that? See how the ceiling's soft? And then if we go over here. I don't know if you hear that, but everything was eaten by rats and there's actually no walls or anything. Um, so I don't even know what I'm going to do about that. I don't think I can do anything right now. I just don't have the money to, to even figure that out right now. Um, and then 
we redid this cabinet. So this one was the one where it was just straight metal to outside. So we cut pieces of plywood and put the drilled them in here and stuff and redid this cabinet um, with like scrap wood and stuff. That's why it's kind of bougie. Uh, there is insulation behind this though. So we put um, like, I think it's an inch thick uh, that like foam insulation stuff, the green stuff that you buy in huge sheets. So we cut that up and that is behind the plywood. So that's a plus. We still have a few more to work on down here that have been really tricky. Um, let me get, let me put my light on, that might help. Okay. So like this one isn't as bad. This one, that's a hole into the outdoors. And I don't, I'm almost wondering if I should just pull this whole thing out because it's all rotten. That's completely rotted behind there and chewed apart. So I'm kind of wondering if I should just pull that out. Down here, um, that's an absolute nightmare. So, oh, okay, I think you guys can see. So that's the metal siding of the outside of the camper right there. And everything is just eaten. I don't even know how to get this carpet out. I have no idea how to get that out. That is so disgusting and, like, just stuck in there. So that's fun. Um, I don't think my fridge is working. My freezer is, but my fridge is not. Um, I don't know if the heat works in here, like the propane. We can't use an electric heater because it'll blow the... It'll, like, turn the breaker off. It's too much power. We only have a 110 going and that's all we can use so or a 125 i think or something like that so they're like we literally can only use lights in our campers and like maybe in like the fridge but no type of heater um no no water no running water like we we have a I mean, you can't see it we have a sink there but i can't use it um not sure if the stove works like i said not sure if the propane works um yeah <laughs> We're, we in here. Um, I think that, so those are live, so we can install one dome light here. No, no power to those, we tested those. No power to those, we tested those. And then, yeah, um, gotta, like the, so these, all of these walls and stuff are eaten by rats, so this whole thing is about to fall off, so I need to figure out how to cover that up. Um, and then I'll put a new baseboard on there. Uh, yeah, everything's kind of just like falling apart. <laughs> oh my. But we're making progress on some things. I, I did fill in a hole um, down in there earlier, so that's filled in and it just needs a new little baseboard thing. Um, and then I have to figure out how to skirt these with no money. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. But yeah, lots of work to do today. Oh, and I got to get some uh, vent, vent covers here. Those were like filled with rats' nests and insulation, which was disgusting. Uh, thank God for shop vacs. Yeah, so lots of work to do, um, but making progress each day, and if anyone has any, like, ideas about anything, um, let me know down in the comments. Yeah, don't bother talking about solar power. We are in the woods and covered with trees. There is no sunlight. So we can't do solar power, and we can't hook up any type of water. Um, yeah, we have no bathrooms. Like, like I have a bathroom here to, that I could use if we could hook it up, but we can't. So we'll be um, just walking up to Sharon's house each time to use the bathroom, and to shower, and to brush our teeth, and to do all of that stuff. Um, yeah. So there's that. Lots of projects for the day. I'm going to need a beer after, or maybe five. Yeah, 
Um, so there's that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, there's a pocket dump. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys, too, that that's why this vest is so convenient. When I'm down on the ground, uh, like, kneeling and working and stuff, man, it is so nice to just have everything in, our, in like, a hand's reach right here. Uh, much easier than reaching down in my pocket every time I need something. Uh, vests are super handy. I know they're not the coolest thing in the world. They're not the most fashionable, but... Um, super useful, super useful when you're working. And I think it looks decent, right? I used to always get made fun of for wearing vests, uh, and got made fun of for everything in my life, actually. But, yeah, one of the things that I got made fun of was, uh, for liking vests. But I think they're really useful. And I do like overalls and bibs, too, but man, as a, as a girl, when you have to pee and you have to unhook overalls every time to take a piss... That, is, that gets old real quick. <laughs> so a vest is much easier for me personally. But I will see you guys on the next video. Go use your shit. Thank you so much for the support. I will see you guys soon. And I love you all.